Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In today's video, we're going to dive into creating an exciting story-based game using Python and Kinter. Not only that, but we'll also integrate AI-generated images to enhance our game's visuals and storytelling. Before we dive deeper into the code, let's take a moment to understand what we aim to achieve with this project. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully functional story-based game running in Python. Here's what you can expect. You'll have a story-based game where a captivating storyline unfolds as you progress through different stages. At each stage, you'll be presented with choices that influence the direction of the game. The game dynamically displays AI-generated images corresponding to each storyline, enhancing immersion and visual appeal. Throughout this tutorial, I'll explain step-by-step -step how to Set up a Tkinter application for creating a graphical user interface. Manage game stages and outcomes using Python data structures. Integrate AI-generated images to visually enrich the storytelling experience. Before we continue this video, if you're enjoying it so far, I have a quick question for you. Did you know that a large percentage of our viewers aren't subscribed to the channel? It's true, and we'd love for you to be part of our community. Subscribing is super easy and won't cost you a thing. By hitting that subscribe button, you're not just supporting us, you're encouraging us to create more awesome content like this one. We love making videos for you, and your subscription helps us keep the momentum going. Help us to achieve 100 subscriber and 50 likes for this video. Here's the code structure we'll be working with today. I'll explain each line in detail so you can follow along and understand how it all comes together. We start by importing the necessary modules, Tinter for our GUI components and PIL, Python Imaging Library for working with images. These will be essential for building our game interface and handling image displays. Next, we define our adventure game class, inheriting from TK. TK, which makes it a Tinter application. This class serves as the backbone of our game, managing stages, outcomes, and user interactions. In the init method, we initialize our game window, super, d init, set its title and size, and configure the background color to white for a clean look. We then set up the core data structures of our game, self.current stage, tracks the current stage of the game. Self stages contains tuples defining each stage's storyline, options, and corresponding image paths. Self outcomes lists outcomes based on player choices, including messages and image paths. Self next stages maps each stage to subsequent stages based on player choices. Moving on to the create widgets method, where we set up the graphical components of our game interface. Self.storyLabel displays the storyline text using a tinter label. Self.imageLabel displays images associated with each stage using another tinter label. Self.option1 button and self.option2 button provide clickable options for players to progress through the game. The update history method dynamically updates the game interface based on self current stage, displays stage specific text and options, handles transitions between stages and outcomes, adjusting displayed text and hiding unnecessary buttons. The display image method handles the display of images, opens and resizes images using PIL configures a label to display the resized image on the GUI. Lastly, the next stage method manages the flow of the game, progresses to the next stage or outcome based on player choices, updates self, current stage accordingly, and calls update history to refresh the interface. And that wraps up our breakdown of the code. By following this structure, you can create your own interactive story-based game in Python using Tinter. Feel free to experiment with different storylines, images, and gameplay mechanics to make your game unique. Now, as you play through the game, you'll notice these amazing visuals that really bring the story to life. We actually used Leonardo AI to generate the images you see in the game, 
which added an extra layer of immersion to the experience. This text file contains the prompts we use to generate these images, where you can try it out for yourself. If you're interested in checking out the code behind this game, it's all available on GitHub. The link is in the description below, so feel free to download it and start creating your own adventures. Now that we've built our adventure game, let's dive into the gameplay to see how your decisions shape the story. We'll start with the first crucial decision, following the map or not. As the game begins, the player is presented with a mysterious map found in an old bookstore. Here's how the choices unfold. Let's imagine the player decides to follow the map. They embark on a journey filled with twists and turns, encountering various challenges along the way. Here they encounter a wise old man. The player has a choice to ask for advice or continue on their own path. They wisely choose to seek advice from the old man, who shares a hidden shortcut through the forest. This leads them to discover a hidden treasure, a rewarding outcome depicted with a fitting image. Congratulations to the player for making the right choices. Now, let's explore a different path. The player decides to ignore the map and continues their journey blindly. Unfortunately, this decision leads them deeper into the forest, where they could become hopelessly lost. These scenarios demonstrate how each decision impacts the game's narrative, offering multiple paths and outcomes based on player choices. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more programming tutorials. Thank you for joining me, and happy coding!